we are talking a little bit about uh, listings to leads. So this is a feature that listings to leads has set up that I just wanted to kind of showcase again, both for um, our offices and our agents. I feel I feel like we went over this fairly recently in the, in the past few months um, on an office level, but I wanted to showcase the option again um, to show you how to set it up and then how agents can get it set up as well. And essentially what we're talking about here is that you can get listings to leads to auto post to your business page, new listings, um, any status change, so pending, solds, along with um, uh, seller lead campaigns. So I wanted to just showcase uh, how you access this, how you make sure it's set up, and then um, uh, kind of from there, it basically is, is it's off to the races. So um, the first thing, as always, guys, and this is going to apply to our office pages that we're looking at here, but the exact same stuff applies to any agent watching this who is setting this up for their agent account. So uh, what the first thing you want to do is log into listings to leads. Uh, once again, a few months ago, they changed their layout a little bit. So everything is on the left over here. And um, you can see the profile tab down here. They've got the calendar right here in the middle, like I was just referencing. So this is where we're going to work off of. Um, at for, for our agents, if you guys don't have a listings to leads account set up yet, um, talk with your ASC. That is, it is part of the onboarding process. It does sometimes get lost a little bit. Um, but you, this is all provided, you know, complimentary and all that jazz. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left hand side over here. Now that you can see and click on profile, the very last option here. And I'm logged in as one of our offices right now as the Holland office. Um, so if you are an, uh, an ASC, if you're doing this on an office level, uh, or if you are an agent doing this on an agent level, bef I always say before we go anywhere further with any of this stuff, look at your details here. Make sure everything is set up correctly. Make sure your con you know, your name is there, right? Your uh, address is there, right? And then especially under these contact details, make sure that you have um, email addresses set up correctly here. And what you'll want to make sure especially is that whatever email address you have in here, you have one set to send leads. So you can see this one right here is set to send leads, um, and or you can do send leads and tools emails. The tools emails is just sort of like you know your your um, newsletter updates that listings to leads will send out updates on their updates on their tools essentially. Um, but you'll want to make sure that a you have an email selected for send leads and b that email is typed correctly. I think this is a point that I particularly hammer home because we had this as an issue once where listings to leads did a mega overhaul. Um, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. And we had an issue where in that overhaul, a couple of our email addresses came over incorrectly. They had like copied and pasted it, uh, you know, incorrectly. And we were doing lead campaigns, but we weren't getting any of the emails with leads. And it turns out it's because it was actually for a CB Great Lakes email that L was missing. It said CB Great Lakes. So make sure you put that L in there. Make sure you have everything spelled right. Because one of the options here is... Uh, auto posting lead campaigns. So you're going to want to make sure that you have that um, set up correctly. So check your info, check everything. It's, you know, you just want to do a, a quick gut check on it. And then from there, what we're going to focus on is this auto posting tab right up here. It's the second tab. It should actually still say new and it says auto posting. So we're going to click there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do two things. One, we're going to connect our account so that the right account is connected to listings to leads so that it can auto post correctly. And two, we're going to work on what we want these ads to look like. So I'll, we'll, we'll go through that step by step. Number one is the easy part, connect your social media accounts. You can connect as an agent, your Facebook page, your Twitter account, and a LinkedIn account. LinkedIn is, is um, basically brand new. It's, it's a really new feature, but it does have to be a company page. I don't believe it can be a personal account. Now that's another story for another day, but if you do have a company page set up as an agent, you can connect it here. I'm gonna see what happens if I click on it. Yeah, it's gonna make me log in. So what we're gonna focus on though is the Facebook part. In order to connect your business page to Facebook, the only other thing you're gonna to wanna to do ahead of time is make sure you are logged in to Facebook on this browser. So you go over to my tab here, let me minimize this the zoom window. If you go over to my tab, you can see that I am just I'm just logged into Facebook here. It makes it a lot easier for this next step. So I'm logged in. 
I'm going to go back to listings to leads and I'm just going to click click here to or click to connect to Facebook. So I click and it's going to bring me to one of these pages where it's basically like, hey, listings to leads wants to connect with you. Um, this doesn't let them post or anything yet. You just have to connect your account. So I'm going to click continue and then it's going to ask me what uh, page do I want to connect this to. Now you can, can, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but you can connect multiple listings to leads accounts to one page, but I believe you can only connect uh, one page to an account. So if I had an account for Grand Haven, Holland, and Saugatuck, let's say, I could connect all three of those to one page, but I could not connect Holland to multiple pages. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Again, it's not really gonna affect us in too many instances, but there might be a couple. So you're gonna look for the page that you want to use. Um, I'm gonna use my training page here. I'm just gonna select it. You probably aren't gonna have a whole list like this, but I'm gonna select the one there. Where did it go? Right here, um, uh, right there. Click next. And then you're gonna. it's gonna give you, they're gonna ask you for some stuff here. Um, you can turn some of this off if you want, but the thing that you do need to have is these ones right here. You, you really do want them to have as much of this info as possible because they need to be able to post this last one especially they need to be able to create and manage content so we're gonna click done and just like that I've connected with listings to leads auto posting so I'm gonna click OK and it's gonna bring me back to listings to leads in a world where everything works yes so you can now see it says connected as my personal name there but then my business page right here JD Waldvogel real estate agent right there now this next step is vital and it might seem very simple, but I have forgotten it many times. Many others have forgotten it many times. Click save. Click that save button down there, that green save button. Otherwise, when you click away, it's going to disconnect your account. And then you'll have to go through it all again. So make sure you click save right there so that your account stays connected. One other point that I want to make that Peter and I have run into a lot. when you, if you, if After you've connected your business page to listings to leads, if you ever change your Facebook password, you'll need to go in and reconnect this. Most of us don't do it that frequently, so it's not a constant issue. But if you do not, uh, if, if you change your password, this connection will break. So you're going to want to make sure you go back in and make the end and, and reconnect it. Um, and you'll notice because it'll stop posting. So, um, so connect it, choose the page, and then when you get back here, make sure you click save. And then I always like to refresh the page up in the corner and go back just to make sure that it stayed connected. And it did. So then what I want to focus on really briefly, guys, is I want to go down these a couple of these tabs real, real quick here. So under auto posting, we're going to go to the next tab that says listings. And this is where you can make a, um, you can basically decide what gets shared every time there's a new listing on your page. From this listings tab though, you can uh, kind of decide what gets shared when a post goes out. Basically, what text goes out there. So, um, first thing you want to do is go to preferences over here. So we're under auto posting, listings, and then preferences. And it's basically saying, hey, when do you want us to post a new listing? When do you want us to post? And right now we have it to when I put when I add a listing to listings to leads, which is automatically done. Remember, we're not individually entering these, but when a listing is added to listings to leads, I want a post to go out. And then when I change the status of a listing, so it goes pending, goes sold, I want to add I want that to go out. And I can even say when there's a price reduction, I want that to go out. So I can click that too if I want to. Totally up to you. You can say I only want there when it to be when there's a new listing. Uh, I I only want it when there's a new listing and a price reduction. You choose when you want it to go out. So then under template, like I said, basically, what do you want to be shared when a post goes to your page? Now they have things automatically in place for you. Just so we know. Um, for example, if you look at headline here, you'll see in very light gray, it says status in city. Now I want to share with you guys what that means. If you look down here under supported tags, these are uh, basically code that will auto populate every time the post happens. For example, right here, it says status in city. If I have a new listing 
in Holland, Michigan, the headline will read new listing in Holland or newly listed in Holland. Whatever that status is will go into the headline. So you can see supported tags down here. So for example, if you look at this copy and paste that they recommend doing, status the, the description would say status and city. So you know, pen, you know, newly listed in Holland, click below and then for instant access to all photos details and more, the URL would automatically populate there and then the marketing description would automatically populate there and then they have some hashtags there. Here's what I would do. I would click this copy and paste button here so that it populates in and you'll see, boom, it's automatically there for you. And then I would change it a little bit. To be quite honest, for Facebook specifically, we don't need these hashtags here. I would just remove it so it's a little bit less, um, a little bit less busy there. And so now we've just got the status and city, click below, the URL, and then the description of the listing. So. If you want to add, maybe, you know, maybe you want to get really special here and take that house away and you want to put some stars there because you want to draw attention to it. So I'm just going to add a couple star emojis, copy and paste that, copy and paste that. So now every time I have a new listing, it's going to go to my Facebook automatically and it'll say status in city. So new listed in Holland, pending in Saugatuck, um, price reduction in Vero Beach. All of that will automatically populate for you every time any of those changes happen. So as always, we want to make sure we click save down here. And then the last one that I want to focus on really briefly is if you click underneath listings up here, you can also see seller lead ads. Now when we go to seller lead ads, you can connect um, uh, basically lead generating pages. I don't know why I said it like that. Lead generating pages that can post to your page free, you know, as frequently as you want. Once a week, you know, do it once a week. Um, you can say it weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, and you can start the schedule um, whenever you want here. Um, the one thing you wanna do, of course, is you're gonna have to connect, make sure you have a landing page created. Now that's another training, we've done a lot of trainings on that. Um, you can find those on the Schmidt Video Classroom, how to create the, um, the uh, what's your home worth pages. Um, but I would really recommend having one custom made, like you go in and make one because the, the templated ones that they use aren't great. Uh, the photo is not great. So I'd click, click here. I would choose the landing page that I have created. Um, let me take a look at this one to see if this is one that I want to use. So this is a custom one that I made. Again, I, this is one I was making briefly in training. I don't have a good photo back here. I've changed the text a little bit, but it's not a great, but you wanna connect the page that you want to use. And then again, you can choose. They've got copy and pasted text that you can use. Sold homes in location in month year. So 15 homes sold in Holland in November, 2020. Highest price home to sell was 1 million. This has affected your home's value. Click below to get your new home value. So again, these can go out weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly for you automatically. Um, there are a couple other options that they have here, down payment assistance and new construction pages. I personally, to be honest, have not played around with those too much. I've mainly played around with the listings and the seller lead ads. But the main thing that's nice here, guys, is getting it set up so that your listings automatically go to your business pages without you having to do a thing. Once they're posted there, if you like using listings to leads, you can boost those posts and that can be your advertisement is your listings to leads page. Uh, and you can hopefully drive traffic, drive leads, drive sign-ins. And then the reason we made sure our login info was great in the beginning was so that if someone does fill out the lead form on listings to leads, you're getting those notices, you're getting those notifications. And then very briefly, if you guys have questions, because we're, we're already a couple minutes over, please write them in. Um, as a reminder, if you're ever curious, you know, if, you're, if you feel like you should be getting leads but you're not or it's not working, you can always check your lead library here in your listings to leads account. You can see on the left here, there's a tab that says leads. You can click on that and it will bring you to your leads account um, where you can see every lead that's come in. So if, you're, if you deleted an email on accident or something like that, click on this leads tab and it'll bring you um, into that section of listings to leads. So again, guys, very briefly, just to wrap it up, what we did was we logged into listings to leads we clicked on profile over here in the, uh, on the very bottom option. 
we made sure our account info was correct and then we just clicked on auto posting right up here across the top bar we connected our business page and then we played with the text a little bit on the listings